Hey everyone, in this video here I'm going to explain how to set up a WordPress multi-site or WordPress network. Now the first thing you want to do, um, you can you can actually take an existing WordPress installation obviously and convert it to a network or if you're starting fresh, um, that potentially that could be easier, otherwise you're going to have to deactivate all the plugins um, before setting up the network and then you just reactivate them afterwards. So first step, um, I'm just going to walk through very quickly how to set up WordPress because I've covered that a lot before but the first thing you want to do um, is download the WordPress files from wordpress.org unzip them on your computer then you're going to go to MySQL databases in your control panel if you're working with a host like HostGator and then you're going to want to name the database and then create a user and provide a password and then you're going to select the new user in the in the database that you just created click add and then the next page will ask you to set um, specify the privileges you choose all and then then the database is set up as simple as that so then what you do after that is upload the files to the server you're gonna have to modify the wp config.php file um, to reflect the name of the database and the username so once that's set up um, if if this is a brand new install again um, that's then you just follow along but if you do have an existing installation that you're converting to a multi-site then you're gonna have to deactivate all the plugins first and you may want to back up your database you can just get a database backup plugin uh, of course and just um, back that up before doing so before setting things up so the first step you want to download your WP config file so you can modify that so get that on the desktop open it up in text editor and scroll all the way down and just above this line here we'll add the statement to allow multi-site so you save that re-upload the file so you just um, overwrite the existing file after that line is included now after adding that line you can log into the WordPress dashboard and if you're already logged in you might have to refresh the page and then under tools there will be a new option that says network setup so you click that And then you want to choose whether you want to subdomains or subdirectories. So here's the examples for subdomains and for subdirectories. And you specify the name you want for the entire network, the entire collection, and the admin email, of course, and then click on install. Now this, um, you you could set up wildcard um, DNS, and what that means is when there's a new site that that gets added, um, say you have you want to set up like a specific blog just for your newsletter archive, so you might have newsletter dot whatever dot com. Now you actually have to tell the server um, you have to create that subdomain on the server, but if you set up a wildcard subdomain then you won't have to do that manually for each site that gets created so especially if you're setting up this network for other users to be able to create their own sites just like on wordpress.com if if you have users able to set up their own sites this can all happen on the fly you don't need to set, set up new subdomains for every site that you add to the network and that that's why um, adding a wildcard domain is a good subdomain is a good idea so if you're using cpanel for example um, what you want to do is log into your cPanel, you scroll down and you'll see under the domains section here this is the subdomains and this page will open up and then you specify the domain you're working with and just put an asterisk in there and that sets up um, wildcard subdomains for this particular website and it'll link to the root
and you got to make sure you put the full path um, to where you have this particular website installed. I happen to have mine in in a folder of the same name, so that's that's what I would put there. But if you plan to manually create the subdomains, this isn't necessary. That's just if you don't want to manually create them for each new site you add to the network. Okay, so now the next step, it tells you everything right here. You add the following lines to your wp-config file. So you can add them in there. So let's see. Just to select all this. And then you open your wp-config and just underneath that existing line paste them in save and then upload next thing you want to do is add these lines to the .ht access file so you'll find that in here in the root now, if it's not in there, you might have to. Ch you can turn on permalinks, um, and it'll cr get created automatically, and then just refresh, and it'll show up. So, you download that file, open it with a text editor, and then anything in between begin WordPress. Like if you turned on permalinks, this is what happens: it creates these lines. So you get rid of everything in there. You're going to rewrite those. But if there's other lines beyond this, leave those intact. But these particular lines you're going to delete and then just paste in the new. Save that and then re upload. And you have to log in again. And then once you're logged in, you're going to see a list. Uh, I'm in a new section here, my sites, and that'll show you all the sites that exist in the in your network. Now, in the menu across the top, you'll see network admin. You click the list of sites there as well, and you'll see new options on the left side. And you can choose add new, and then create a new website. So, if you want to. For example, put your newsletter archive in there. Just do that. And then give it a title. Specify who the admin is. Click on Add Site. And that's it. Now, um, the way this works exactly is um, there's, there's one database. And there's one actual install. So every new site that gets added to the network is really just a virtual install. There are new folders created for media for media uploads for each site and there are different tables in the database but really it's just one WordPress install and one database and that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.